In this video, I will explain about insect legs. Each insect leg consists of five segments like cogta, trochanter, femur, tibia, and tarsus. Cogta, it is the first part of the uh, insect leg, first segment, which is articulated with the thoracic pleura. Second one is trochanter. In almost all insects, uh, it is single segmented, but in dragonflies, damselflies, Ichnomonid wasps, it is uh, seems to be two segmented. It, that is called as trochanteles. If trochanter seems to be two segmented, it is called as trochanteles. Third one is uh, femur. So usually femur is accommodated with more muscles. Fourth one is tibia. It is a long and slender, more segment of the insect leg. Usually in many insects, it bears distally. And uh, the last one is tarsus. The subsegment of tarsus is called as uh, tarsomeres. So usually the tarsomeres vary from one to five. Uh, the basal segment often larger than the remaining segment. So it is named as basic tarsus. So in some textbook, the last tarsomere, last tarsal segment is um, called as pretarsus. So in some textbook, it is pretarsus is also being considered as one of the leg segment. So this tarsus terminates in a pair of claws. So in between claws, a pad-like structure is present called as aerolium. But in houseflies, uh, so aerolium is absent. So instead of aerolium, a median spine-like structure is present in between. The class. So it is called as empodium. At the base of the claw, a pad like structure is present, it is called as pallulas. So next uh, we can see uh, the modifications in insect legs. So first one is uh, ambulatorial type of legs suited for walking purpose. So this type of legs we can see in four legs and middle legs of grasshoppers. So here femur and tibia are long. The next one is cursorial type of legs present in cockroach. In cockroach, all the three pairs of legs are suited for running purpose. So here four femur is not so swollen. And third one is saltatorial type of uh, legs suited for jumping purpose. So this type of legs you can see in uh, hind legs of uh, Grasshoppers. So usually in saltatorial type of legs, femur is more swollen, uh, in the, and enlarged to accommodate more muscles which are useful in jumping purpose. And in fossorial type of legs, you can see four legs of mole crickets uh, in this type of modification. So in fossorial type of legs, femur is stout, TB is also stout. Uh, digitally this uh, tba is modified into three to four times you can t uh, you can see teeth like or uh, teen like structures so time like structures so these are all um, modified uh, digital uh, digital part of the tba is modified into strong times and apart from the tba tarsus is also modified into times you can see uh, this is a basic tarsal time is, mod is modified into the strong tines. So these two are useful in uh, digging uh, the soil or uh, sometimes this uh, basic tarsus it works against the tibial tarsus to cut the root legs. And next one is raptorial type of legs. So this type of leg is present in four legs of praying mantids. So here Cogs is very long, you can see, and inner surface of the femur and tibia providing spines. So this type of leg suited for um, grasping the prey or capturing the prey. So raptorial type of leg is also called as grasping type of leg. And next one is natatorial type of legs, uh, which is suited for uh, swimming purpose. 
the hind legs of water bugs and water beetles are modified into uh, mo modified into natatorial type so here first the four tarsal ears are provided with the long heterophyse ears so these ears are uh, acts as a just like oars so uh, these are useful in swimming and next one scansorial type of legs uh, all the three pairs of uh, legs of head louse are modified into scansorial type uh, which are uh, suited to clinging the uh, clinging to the hair of its host so here uh, the this tibia is a stout which bears uh, one side uh, uh, thumb like process so this one is a uh, thumb like process and the tarsus is also single segmented uh, which bears a large single claw so this large single claw usually fits against uh, a thumb like uh, process so this useful in uh, clinging to the hair sockets uh, force and next one is uh, sticking type so in uh, sticking uh, legs uh, here i already told in house flies this instead of uh, aerolium empodium is present and here the palo like a pad like structure present at the base of the uh, claw which uh, which is provided with the glandular hairs called as tenant hairs so these tenant hairs secrete some sticky substances which are useful in clinging to the smooth surface and uh, next one is clasping type of legs here four legs of uh, male water beetle modified into uh, clasping legs so here the first three uh, tarsus are modified into clasping disc so which is useful in clasping clasping the female during mating next one is basket like leg uh, which are present in uh, dragon flies and uh, dalsan flies so here legs are spiny and closely placed to the mouth parts so which are useful in seizing the prey during flight so captured insects are kept in the uh, this um, leg basket but uh, these legs are not useful in locomotion uh, the next one is pro legs so these pro legs are present in uh, caterpillars of lepidoptera so usually five pairs of pro legs are present these are located on third fourth fifth sixth and tenth abdominal segment so this tenth abdominal segment prolog is called as anal prolog so in uh, noctuids like uh, in semi loopers only three pairs of abdominal legs are present first two uh, pro pairs of prolog are absent in noctuids whereas in uh, uh, geometridae that is loopers uh, belongs to the family geometridae only two pairs of prolex are present whereas remaining uh, these three pairs of legs are absent that is third fourth and tenth pair of prolex are absent in uh, geometridae that is loopers so these prolex are not segmented one so at the end of the prolex uh, is uh, that distal part of the prolex is called as planta which bears a series of uh, hook like structures you can see here so these crochets these are called as crochets the hook like structures which are useful in traveling or clinging to the uh, host surface and the last one uh, is leg modifications in honeybees this is a pro, uh, four leg middle leg and hind leg so in four leg uh, this here some uh, uh, tibia this one uh, these are useful in cleaning the compound eyes so it four leg acts as a eye brush to clean the compound eyes and uh, it also serves as an antenna cleaner you can see the two structure velum and cleaning brush the distal part of the tibia which bears a spur like structure called as uh, velum whereas the basic tarsus so which bears a semi circular notch like structure provided with small uh, bristles or spines so these are useful to clean the antenna 
whereas pollen press is also present in this pollen press useful to collect the pollen from the head and mouth parts whereas if you come to the middle leg the middle leg also serves as a pollen uh, brush to collect the pollen from middle part of the body and you can see uh, the tibial spur is present at the distal end of the uh, tibia so mainly useful to uh, loosen the pollen pellets from the pollen basket so this spur is useful to uh, loosen the pollen from the pollen basket of hand legs and it is also useful to clean wings and uh, spiracles and next uh, you can see the hind leg so here in the hind leg uh, this you can see the tibia so the outer surface of the hind tibia it contains a shallow cavity and the edge of the cavity provided with long hairs so this serves as a pollen basket it is also called as carbicola so this and uh, uh, in this basket the pollen is uh, loaded and another structure is a pollen packer so it is also called as pollen press so it consists of two structures like pecten and auricle pecten is present at the distal end of the tibia whereas auricle is uh, present uh, at the end of the, uh, this basic tarsus this is not fringed with small hairs so these two structures are useful to load the pollen seed pollen basket so this is about uh, insect legs so if you have any doubts please comment below